So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. He looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. Just drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so. But I'm gonna keep my eye on him, if it's all the same to you. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. This has to be done. Saren's the enemy, not me. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. So that's it. All this time and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. Saren doesn't care about these Krogan. They're tools, puppets. He'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to him. Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools from the Council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. I'm surprised you were able to reason with a Krogan. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. 
I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. It won't be that simple. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. I don't make a habit of placing my people under someone else's command. I understand, but this mission is too important for personal preferences to get in the way. He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary, though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. Give me a quick rundown of the plan again. You are Team Shadow. We will create a distraction while you infiltrate the base. Make your way to the breeding grounds at the heart of the facility. Disable the AA gun so the Normandy can land and deliver the nuke. If we get that far, we'll try to help you with guns, but don't count on it. Once you have the bomb, place it next to the geothermal taps. Then get out before it detonates. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends. But the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step defeated a nation with a single shot, or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line.
Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander... Even I will admit that I did not adhere to my Renegade only playthrough as strictly as I should have in this video. Or on Vermeer in general. I really messed up Perfect Renegade. Actually, I wasn't anywhere near Perfect Renegade. Perfect Renegade would be no Paragon whatsoever. But that's a little bit hard to do because sometimes I think in this game some of the main quests give you Paragon when you finish them. But anyway, I should have killed Rex and I should have been a little bit meaner. And especially coming up here, I disable a bunch of, um, of, of these systems that the Geth put up. And there's going to be like an antenna and like a gas can and a few other things. And you get Paragon every time you destroy one of those because I didn't really want the Salarians to die. So part of the thinking for me behind this was that a lot of the people that you keep alive in Mass Effect 1 and 2, they do show up again in 3. You don't really see them directly, but they'll like send you a message and they, they join the war effort. And that can make the ending of 3 a little bit easier, but it's also totally manageable to get 3 uh, maxed out, the war effort to get that maxed out without any of this extra help. So it's not like it even really matters that much. But I was just kind of thinking, like, I kind of want some of these people alive for me in Mass Effect 3, so I can at least think in the background, I, you know, these people are alive for me, they're working for me. That feels a little bit Renegade, but I think Renegade here, the better option would have been I should have killed Rex, and I should have... Did I kill Rex? No, 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 I didn't. Uh, <laughs> and I should have... Um, not help the Salarians and later on I think we're gonna get a little choice again we have to help or um, not help the Salarians again and the renegade option would be to choose to not help them of course but I wanted to kill extra enemies to get extra experience so I did end up helping them which gave me more paragon than I expected but I think that might be in the next video so I did gain a little bit more paragon than I anticipated in Vermeer but I think by this point my Renegade bar is almost always, like, it's almost nearly maxed out, so it didn't really matter too much. And my Intimidation's already totally maxed out, so I don't have to worry about missing out on those options. Like, there's a Shock Tower, I get two Paragon for doing that, so it would have been no Paragon. I don't know if you get Renegade for leaving them alone, but it would have been no Paragon had I left it alone, so... That's just kind of something I wanted to mention here. Other than that, this place is a little bit of a maze. It can kind of get you turned around. But as usual, just kind of go in the direction of the enemies and you'll find the right way.